<laughs> Sorry, Lloyd. I had a little fender bend. Okay. I'll cut to the chase. My kids ganged up on me this weekend. They want to throw Linda and me into a retirement home. Did they say why? Uh, an assisted living joint. They think it'll make things easier for me. But sure, caregiving's no walk in the park. And I know we eat out a little too often. But Linda's well fed and she's happy. Well, George, if you ask me, some of these assisted living places sound nice. Someone else prepares your meals, does your laundry, drives around town, and... I know, I know, but we're not there yet. And how would they know what Linda and I need? My kids are hardly ever there anyway. Suddenly it's no longer about their mom. It's about my drinking and, and, and driving. Do you think they're just worried? No. I think they're trying to control us. George, how do you think things are going right now? It's not easy. Lately, she's been on my case. Whenever I leave her alone for a few minutes, she accuses me of having an affair. Then I ask her, Linda, how the hell would I have time? The past won't stay in the past, if you know what I mean. Remember, this is the disease that's talking. Perhaps she just feels anxious. Maybe you could reassure her by letting her know how much you care about her, or just taking her by the hand. Have you thought about getting more help? Well, I do have someone coming in a few times a week to help with the shower, and that helps. But what about me? Why do I have to follow all the rules and regulations of those places? <clears throat> well, uh, what about calling a family uh, family meeting where you and Linda and the kids can talk it through? I mean, it can help get everybody on the same page. That's what my uh, siblings and I did when my dad became ill. Well, I would have a conversation, but I don't want to be steamrolled. Well, we can set up some ground rules beforehand. We actually have a list of some ground rules that might help you get started. <laughs> I have that... Uh, I have that list in my memory bank, and uh, you know the one point that I remember the most that I like in particular is using I statements. You might say, "I feel like you're ganging up on me," rather than "You're ganging up on me." <laughs> it just tends to go over better, you know. And no bringing up the past. Stay focused on the issue you agreed to talk about. If you want, I can help you facilitate. I don't know how helpful that'll be, but we could give it a try. 